Hey guys, so here you welcome to Shexel tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at the daily action tracker. Now, the daily action tracker is a unique template for tracking action items related to health and safety meetings. As safety professionals, we are involved in a lot of meetings, and most of these meetings result in actions that must be followed up on. So, this template has been designed to exactly track actions related to health and safety meetings and that is it this is quite different from the corrective and preventive action tracker that is based on monitoring activities so without further ado let's just get straight into it now the daily action tracker the main daily action this is the source data where you're going to be building our database of action items so in terms of health and safety meetings definitely there's going to be the date there's going to be the agenda item in the meeting that we, we had it's the agenda item is definitely going to be related to a given area. It could be regulatory permits, it could be drilling permits, it could be any form of category of you know the agenda basically. And then we have the action that had come out from the meeting. And then we have the action originator, there's the action owner, there's a contact person to call. You can now assign priority to the action or the task. So it's going to be high, medium, and low. And there's a section for progress updates, there's a section for action deadline, there's a section for next follow-up, and the days due is going to be tracked for you, and then you can choose whether the action is open or closed. Now, this is very, very important because in meetings, definitely we need to stay prepared and identify all the action items that we need to follow up on, and we need to also demonstrate that we are indeed following up on them and we leave a trail we need to be able to establish a trail of activities that we've carried out so far related to those actions all right so that is exactly what this template is helping us to do to be able to leave or gather a trail of activities that we can actually use to demonstrate to our superiors or our support, um, managers or our you know our bosses that we are actually working very hard we are making good effort to follow up on these actions because these actions are related to us or you need to gather meeting a regular update from people who are the action owners and be able to leave a trail of activities just to make sure that um we have something to show for now this template can be put on the internet for everyone to update or all action owners to update basically all right so let's look at the dummy data that we provided this dummy data is based on real data that we gathered from our work in the course of our working life all right so 28 february 2020 we had a, we held a meeting the meeting actually covered a lot of a few items all right so it covered environmental permit the fire permit and that's basically it all right now the environmental permits related to a drilling permit that we're applying for and then the action item that came out was the fact that selom or cell need to engage the EIE consultant to ensure that all corrections in the EIE has been made and details of the dealership has been included in it. All right. Now the action originator came from Bernard, who is my boss. I'm the action owner. The contact person I had his details right here. And then the priority for this action is actually a high priority. So it could be other action or tax priority. And then there's a section on progress update. So the progress update section, actually, we are leaving a trail of activities that we carried out. So on 11-34, um, 11, um, 28th February 2020, this is exactly what I did. 3rd March 2020, this is exactly what I did. 4th April 2020, this is exactly what I did. All right. And then the deadline was this date. The next follow up date was this date. The action is still open. Now let's assume the action has been closed all right fire permits also related to office emergency preparedness and response ensure adequate fire protection and emergency arrangement for the office building a secure fire certificate for the office this is something that we we need to follow up on and how the action owner the contact person's number was here it's a medium priority act item and then the fact that i've I've been able to demonstrate a trail of activity that I've carried out so far. All right. And then the fact that the action is still open. So let's assume that the action has been closed. All right. So now this is the database that we are building, and all these tabs are the reports. All right. So given the fact that we've made some changes in our template, all we need to do is just come to the data tab on the menu and click on refresh all. But before that, let's look at what it was. All the actions were open and the action the agenda 
list was environmental permit, fire certificate, regulatory permit, security clearance certificate. This was the agenda that we discussed. The action list, this, these are the action lists that we've identified. Action days due, we are tracking it. Action status, everything is open. Tax priority, we have four that are in the, in the hive and the one that is in the medium. And then the progress update, all right. Now, we want to register the new updates now in the template. So all we need to do is just go to a data tab, refresh on. As you can see, we have two agenda items that have been closed. And then um, basically the rest are open action list. We have two of them that have been closed and three currently open. And this is the action days due. And we have the, the open and closed. So we have two that have been closed, two that are open. Tax priority, we have four in the medium, one, sorry, four in the high, one in the medium, progress update. So basically, what is very, very essential for you to know is that on the progress update section, there's actually your evidence that you can share with management that you are indeed making good effort towards it all. The people involved are actually making good effort towards closing the actions, and this is a trail of activities that has been carried out so far. All right. So this is actually different from the corrective and preventive action tracker that is based on monitoring activities, but this one is specifically based on meeting, health and safety meetings. All right. So the agenda is very, very important. The agenda where it is related to the action, the action originator, action owner, contact person, tax priority, progress updates are very, very important. All right. So like most of our template, we have the password right here. You can use it to protect the sheet and remove the logo. And you can actually make any changes you want to do with the template. That's all up to you once you understand how to use pivot table. All right. So thank you all for your attention. I believe that you find this template very useful. In case you're interested, all you need to do is just click on the link below, head over to our website, go to the price list, search daily action tracker. And you're gonna get this file to download. All right, thank you all and have a nice day and meet again soon in another video. Bye for now.